in the verdant heart of Sherwood Forest, where whispers of ancient oaks melted with the laughter of its inhabitants, lived the most daring and beloved outlaw of them all, Robin Hood. Though a master archer and swordsman, he was also a man of gentle heart and high spirits. He was a hero to the common folk, a thorn in the side of the wealthy and the corrupt, and the most wanted man in all of Nottingham. But to one person, he was something more, a love that ignited like a star in the midnight sky. Lady Marion, the niece of the unjust King Richard, had grown up in the luxuries of the castle, but found her heart wandering into the depths of Sherwood Forest, where Robin often roamed. How they had met was a tale of secret gardens and hidden glances, but their love blossomed like the first rose in spring, radiant and beautiful. They often met in secret, for the world outside their love would never understand. Oh, Marion. Robin would say as they met under their secret canopy of moonlight and ivy. What risk you take for these stolen moments? She would laugh softly. <laughs> and what is life, if not a daring adventure? One fateful day, the villainous sheriff of Nottingham declared a grand archery contest with an ulterior motive. The prize was a kiss from the lovely Lady Marion, but the real bait was Robin Hood himself. The sheriff knew the master archer would not resist such a challenge, and so, the trap was set. Robin, dressed in a clever disguise, and his loyal friends, Little John, Friar Tuck, and the others, entered the arena. Suspense electrified the air, crackling like a storm ready to break. Every eye was on the tournament, yet Robin's were only on Lady Marion, who stood beside her uncle, King Richard. With the tension building like the crescendo of a grand symphony, Robin stepped forward. One by one, the arrows flew, finding their mark with the uncanny precision that was the hallmark of Robin Hood. The final shot was a marvel, Robin's arrow split his competitors in two, capturing victory and, in turn, the prize. Yet, just as Robin was revealed and approached Lady Marion, a group of soldiers, led by the Sheriff of Nottingham himself, burst onto the scene. Seize him! yelled the Sheriff, his voice dripping with malevolence. This is Robin Hood, the outlaw. As the soldiers closed in, the crowd gasped, and Lady Marion's heart sank like a stone in water. But Robin winked at her, and at that moment, she knew he had a plan. With agile grace, Robin dodged the lunging soldiers as if dancing with the wind. With Little John and Friar Tack creating a diversion, Robin seized Lady Marion's hand and they vanished into the maze-like forest. Thundering hoofs and the clamor of swords echoed behind them, but Robin led Lady Marion through hidden paths and secret tunnels known only to him. When they were finally alone, hidden in the depths of their secret canopy, Robin looked into Lady Marion's eyes. I'm sorry for the trouble I caused you, he said, his voice tinged with guilt. Lady Marion, radiant in the moonlight, shook her head gently. You've not caused me any trouble, Robin. It's the world that troubles me, a world that could separate us. Then let us make a world of our own, Robin declared, his eyes shimmering with the promise of endless tomorrows. The wind sighed through the trees, as if Sherwood itself was whispering its approval. It was then that Robin took from his pouch a small, delicate ring made of intertwined vines and a sparkling gem that caught the moonlight like a dewdrop. Marion, would you be the queen of my heart and the Sherwood Forest? He asked, his voice almost a whisper, as though afraid to break the magic of the moment. Tears glistened in Lady Marion's eyes as she nodded. Yes, a thousand times. Yes. And so, under the eternal sky and amidst the whispers of the enchanted Sherwood Forest, two souls became one. Though their love was a secret, it was as real and as eternal as the forest that sheltered them. But even as they celebrated, dark clouds gathered on the horizon. King Richard, infuriated by the constant illusion of Robin Hood and now feeling the sting of personal betrayal, vowed to bring an end to the outlaw's days. He doubled the guards, posted rewards, and cast a shadow over Sherwood that threatened to extinguish the light of its most radiant love story. 
Robin and Lady Marion knew they had entered dangerous times. The castle will not be safe for you any longer. Robin told Lady Marion one night, his voice heavy with concern. And Sherwood will be a perilous home for you as well, Lady Marion replied, her voice tinged with fear. My uncle will stop at nothing. Just then, a rustling in the bushes interrupted them. Out sprang Will Scarlet, one of Robin's trusted allies, his face flushed with urgency. Robin, the King's soldiers are advancing. They've captured Little John and Friar Tuck. We have to act quickly. The air grew thick with tension, and the gravity of the moment weighed heavily on Robin's shoulders. With a solemn look, he turned to Lady Marion. I have to go. I have to save my friends. Lady Marion's eyes met his, full of understanding and courage. Then go, my love, and let your aim be true. I will wait for you, no matter how long it takes. With a final, lingering kiss, Robin dashed off into the darkness, his heart pounding in his chest. As Lady Marion watched him go, she felt a mixture of fear and pride, and she made a promise to herself. No matter the trials or dangers that lay ahead, she would stand by Robin, and together they would write a love story that even time itself could not erase. To be continued.